Hey everyone, welcome to another crazy video. So today I'll be taking a look at the game 60 Parsecs. It's sort of a sequel to the game 60 Seconds if you've heard of it. Um, with that game you had like a minute to collect supplies before you would dive down into your bunker and try to survive and be rescued. So this game is just like that except it has a space theme and you're trying to survive on a spaceship. I haven't played it yet and I'm super excited to try it out. So let's go ahead and we'll jump on into this here. It says we need to pick our Astro Citizen Cadet. So we have Dee Dee and we have Emmett. Let's go ahead and play Emmett because Dee Dee, she looks a little, I don't know, like hairbrained. So we'll go ahead and pick him. What does it say? Space drill. Alert. Nuclear apocalypse imminent. Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. Executing order 1961. New protocol initiated. Commence astro citizen emergency drill. Embrace for nuclear impact. Okay, so maybe this is kind of going on at the same time as the other game, you know, like normally you'd play with Ted and Dolores and the kids and maybe, you know, this is going on at the same exact time like some other people are in space. Okay, here we go. So, I've got only so many hands to grab things at once. Let me see. Let's pick up her. Yeah, so it's just like um, in the other game, I've only got a certain amount of time to get everything and get into the hatch. There was a guy up here. I'm gonna go see if I can grab him. Actually, I don't know what that is. Oh, I probably can't actually. That takes up three slots. All right, I've got like 30 seconds left. So let me go see if I can grab him. I think he was up in this one. He looks really scared. Let's help him out. I don't even know what that first thing I picked up is. I don't know any of this game. <laughs> Alright, what else can we get our hands on here? Wait, can I pick up that one too? Go, 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 go. Alright, here we go. Oh, wow. Wow. Achievement unlocked, don't panic. All right, so let's have a look at our spaceship here. I managed to grab five cans of soup and we have everybody in the crew here, it looks like, so that's good. I had to grab her in sort of like a tutorial mode first and then I was able to get the other two. So let's see, I don't know what any of these objects are. This kind of looks like the 60 parsecs version of the Boy Scout handbook that we would have um, normally with Timmy. Um, so that will probably come in handy for something, I'm sure. And I don't know, atomic battery, interesting. So how does this work here? Main computer, check the star log first. Um, what is that? Oh, here we go. Hey, Astro Computerized Assistant reporting for duty. You must be Emmett, right? I'm pleased to announce that you have been randomly selected to become the captain of this vessel. Fabulous. <laughs> Welcome aboard the escape shuttle, Captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen Program, please accept our apologies for the negligible inconvenience of being relocated 60 parsecs away from Earth. Your mission, find a safe place to land and then try to contact the outside world. So that's basically our escape plan for this game. Please switch on the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Blah, 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 blah. Good luck. All right. Okay, let's see what this says here. The protocol dictates a speech must be given. A good one. Scratch that. A great one. Everyone is really looking forward to your speech, Captain. So am I. Um, you can really show what breed of Captain will be on this incredible journey. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, so we get to pick a Captain's attribute. So this is quite different from the other game. Intelligence. Strength. What is this? Wimpy. Intelligence. Brilliant. Agility. Flexible. Let's do intelligence because I feel like we're on a spaceship and that could really come in handy for us. Okay, so this is how we end the day. It's a little bit different. In the other game, normally you would just like flip a page. You just keep flipping through a book. Alright, let's see. You knew exactly what to say. Your convincing speech was more than enough to prove your worth as the captain of the last human crew in the universe. That was quite a performance, Captain. Your crew started cheering even before you were finished with the speech. Long live the captain. Filled the cabin. If any sound could travel through the soundless void outside the hull of your ship, that would be it. Okay, so what do we need to do here now? Um, looks like everyone is glad to have us as our captain. What does this do? Choose category. Captain's goals. Make five successful intelligent attribute decisions. Um, find an appropriate landing spot. How do we do that? Oh, we can, we can look at this. They're all loyal, except for Dee Dee. I know, I knew I didn't like her. Okay. Who will perform the routine supply check? The only requirement is simple mathematics. I realize I might be asking a lot, but I have a good feeling about this crew, Captain. Let's pick somebody that's loyal to us to handle the supply of food because, let's see, Dee Dee was not. And we can look at their um, stats here as well. 
So I think either April or um, Baby Bronco should be the one. So he, let's see. It says he's dumb. She's a little bit more average intelligence. Um, we're going to go with her just to keep track of the rations. So in 60 seconds, a lot of random things would sort of happen and it would get worse and worse um, as you progressed through the days here. What does this say? Good news, Captain. The shuttle came pre-stocked with emergency food. Oh, look at all that food we got now, guys. Cool. Okay, see? I knew putting her in charge. Yep, since April did such a good job, I knew it was going to work with her. <laughs> I think it's only fair to nominate her as your payload officer. Well, let's see. She'll be able to produce some minerals for you daily as long as she respects you as captain. So I wonder if we can use those when we are crafting. Okay, sounds good. So it's day three. Everyone's probably getting pretty hungry by now. What does this do? Stops insanity or so they say. Interesting. Okay, well, we're just going to give... Oh, here we go. Ration to all on day three. So every three to four days, we will feed them. I'm wondering, do we not have to worry about water with this one? Okay. Not ready. What does it say? Make a decision in the main computer first. Oh, okay. The new crafting module is in the back of the cabin is now available. You might remember this from your Astro Citizen training. This wonderful machine lets you create something from almost nothing. All you need is a little bit of minerals, chemicals, or power. Use it to craft recycle and use it to craft recycle and repair your supplies as well as upgrade items and shuttle systems. So that is probably where that electricity and stuff that I picked up um, in the beginning comes in handy here. So we have stuff to recycle. What can we craft here? Okay, so we can make more food. Lighter, tape, we can make another sock puppet, an artifact, and a communicator. So I feel like we should probably get a communicator up and going. See if we maybe aren't the only ones left alive out here. So can I only do one of those per day? Okay, looks like it. So we will do that one, and we will go to day four. Captain, I told you I started up the crafting system in the back of the shuttle. I recommend utilizing the machine. Crafting completed. New item available. So now we have our communicator, which is awesome. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to use that just yet. Let me see. Communications console. Huh. So I can't click on that. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to... Oh, wait. Here we go. Is this it? Here we go. So I wonder... I don't know if we can't really do anything with it yet, but it might be one of those random events that I mentioned earlier that pops up where you need to have a communicator. Kind of like in 60 seconds, like, you would have somebody show up and they needed, like, a map or whatever, but if you don't have a map, then, you know. Or, like, if the army was calling on the radio, it's kind of an opportunistic kind of thing is what I'm expecting, but I'm not sure. So, I don't think we're gonna feed anybody today. We're gonna ration that out as much as possible, but let's see what else we can craft for today, because I think we can only do one per day, so we might as well get started on something else here. Um, let's make some tape. I don't know what we'll use that for yet, but maybe for something else to craft with. Um, so yeah, we'll do that, and... Nope. Oh, okay, so I gotta do this main computer every day, I guess. Space travel can be dull, but there are still tons of ways to make your own fun. Trust me, I live in a computer. Let's design a game. Your game will need a core mechanic, which could resolve around an item. Get creative. What kind of game will you design? Um... Okay, so this is this is what I was talking about. So we don't have a lighter, but we could craft one later on, and we don't have a shovel, so we can't do anything. Um, but I, I, I would assume that once you are able to like design this game, it would like help their sanity um, and just help them to feel better and give them something to do. So now that we can't do that, um, yeah, so we can go ahead and end the day here. It's a little bit of a learning curve. It's a lot different from 60 seconds. There's a lot more like, I don't know. More you have to click on and stuff before you just open the book and it was all right there. Um, so it says you did not design your game around an item, but rather your bare hands. The core mechanic of your game was make funny shapes with your fingers. You made a banana slug, a dancing man, and a mustache. Okay, so everyone's doing good except for Dee Dee. She's just the odd one out here. The other two are remaining pretty loyal. Um, and then we also have our tape that we've crafted as well. So let's see, what else can we make here? Or actually, we can upgrade something crafting module we could upgrade that and I'm wondering if that would allow us to unlock some more recipes first aid kit atomic battery a mask the mask probably is pretty important I wonder of course didn't I pick one of those up I wonder if I can see that anywhere yeah we have a mask already I wonder when we can go outside maybe we have to do something for that 
Okay. Recycle. So we could get rid of something we have. Probably to craft something else. But yeah, I want to upgrade something. Let's upgrade our crafting module and see if that will unlock some more recipes for us. Alright. And I gotta go to the main computer here. Okay, here we go. It's time for a life or death challenge. The most important task available on this shuttle. Mopping the floor. Okay, really? From subtle green stains to a fine coating of skin dust, the place could do with a good scrubbing. Baby looks free. Will you ask him to apply some elbow grease or request he to improvise a cleaning formula from whatever we have on board? Um, what does this have to do here? So I'm, I'm thinking how this works is because his intelligence is more dumb, maybe he would be more suited to the cleaning sort of thing rather than coming up with their own formula. So I'm going to do this one. I'm I think that's how that works. We're going to do that. Um... Okay. That part is a little confusing to me yet here. Oh, we got another achievement unlocked. Friend zone. You ordered baby to get on all fours and wipe the floor clean. Just what a perfect Astro Citizen leader would do, sir. Being the respectable crewmate that he is, Baby was keen to help and worked away at even the smallest spots of tough dirt down there on the floor. Cleaner shuttle, happier Astro Citizen. So everyone's happy now. That's really good. Um, so it looks like I made the right decision. He did really well with that kind of work. We've gotta allocate everyone according to their strong suits here. Um, okay, so Dee Dee, she's not loyal to us, but she has reported being glad to have us as her captain. So hopefully that means she's starting to come around. And Baby actually considers us a friend, so that's probably why we got that achievement. Um, so that is cool. Alright. Oh, okay, so this is upgrading and it's gonna take another day. Okay. That is just fine. What do we need to do here? There's nothing to report, Captain. I suggest you... What is... Cover my... Oh, okay. I thought you got a good night's sleep. Wait, could this be boredom? Yes, I have heard that you ha humans need excitement in their lives to function properly. How curious. Captain, you're sitting in a state-of-the-art space shuttle, drifting through the deep cosmos, full of wonder and mystery. Could you at least pretend you're having a good time? Okay, so... We don't have the sock puppet yet, but we do have the handbook, so I think we can go ahead and, like, rifle through that, give us something to do... Kind of stave off the boredom here. And it looks like... Did he have a beard before? Or is he starting to grow that? I don't remember them having those little stubble. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, wait. You know what? It's day six. Hold on. I gotta feed everybody. We don't want anybody starving here. That's the one thing in the other game I always used to forget. So we need to make more soup. We're running low. We're gonna feed everybody. And continue on. Space Engineer. I'm getting a whole bunch of achievements here. Yesterday started pretty slow, but you managed to turn it around, browsing your Astro Citizen handbook on the toil. I mean, in the airlock. You found a set of exercises and decided to try them out. You did jumping jacks all afternoon. How fun. But more importantly, it was healthy. You feel much better now. Okay, and we got our upgrade completed. Crafting module level 2. Okay, so April now considers us a friend as well. So that we're looking, sitting pretty good with our crew members here. Now that our crafting um, upgrade is done, do we have some more recipes? What is this? Oh, we can make armor. Okay. I'm really hoping here, guys, that once we can go out in a spacesuit, uh, once I figure that out, I really hope that there's, like, aliens and stuff that you get to fight and that the armor helps protect you from that. I wonder if we can make weapons, too. There's got to be weapons. Okay. So we're running out of resources. How do we get more resources? Of course, it said that April... We'll find us minerals a little bit each day. And I'm wondering if we maybe have to recycle some more things. But I don't know at this point. Maybe that's like a last ditch sort of thing. Let's go ahead. We need more soup. So I'm going to craft some more soup here. So we can feed everybody in the days to come. And then let's go to our main computer. Captain, I'm detecting troubling buildup of mental tension. Recommended source of action. Throw an epic party. Of course. Okay, I took the liberty of inviting myself, invite the entire crew, but of course, the more the merrier, I guess. How about we invite someone new, eh, Captain? Someone you don't know. Or we make ourselves a new companion. Yes, how do we do it? Oh my god, can we please build a robot? Because that would be amazing. I don't know what this is gonna do, but I would love a robot. The party was a hit. I loved how you put the mask in front of you and pretended it's a person. Uh a mysterious Dolores, apparently. What? Okay, so we have a reference here. Dolores was the mom from 60 Seconds. Interesting. Could you tell me again who won the staring contest? So, how does this pan out, I wonder? Because if this is... Okay, we're talking about this guy here. What was his name? Emmett? 
He must have known Dolores, right? Or is it just a coincidence? <laughs> anyway, let's see here. It was a success. You feel much better now. Saner, even. Um, look at you, Captain. You're healthy as a horse. Um, let's see. Baby is still our friend. Everyone's good. We have more soup. I wonder if did that just give us one, because if so, we need to get um, crafting a lot more of those. It looks like everything is doing good, and everyone's mental condition is increasing pretty well here. Yeah, let's craft some more soup, because... We are constantly going to be needing that. Your attention is required, Captain. This is the most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions. Okay, here we go. It's either aliens or it's someone else that managed to survive the world imploding on itself. Okay. Cannot identify who is sending them. More importantly, what they what they contain. Okay. It might be a solar flare interference or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. We need to decipher these signals as soon as possible. For all we know, our survival depends on it. Who do you want to put in charge of monitoring these communications? Okay, so we need somebody that's going to be um, be able to have a good conversation with them. Let's see here. Agility, intelligence, or strength here. I'm thinking maybe average. What is his? So he's a genius. Um, and he's sort of the leader of the crew. So we're going to have Emmett take charge with the communications here. And we'll see what happens. So we've survived 10 days here. We have first contact. Heck yeah. Captain, you need to see this. I'm not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human-made AI alike. We are not alone in this universe. Please. Please, aliens. <laughs> the signals we intercepted were finally decrypted. They are alien transmissions. Yes. How can you have a space game without aliens? Okay, as in coming from other life forms. And no, I do not mean the Reds. It's something we have never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume we're going to meet some of them sooner or later. Yes, I'm telling you, there's probably going to be some good aliens and some bad aliens. And the bad ones, we're going to need that armor. Okay, let's see here. So we've completed our crafting. Baby is alert, probably because of the aliens that we just come into contact with. Or at least, um, in communication-wise. Awesome. So we definitely need more food. We are getting pretty low here. Oh, but we don't have enough resources. Um, I'm not sure how this works. Let's go ahead and make some armor because that's the only thing I can really do. Yeah, I don't know how we get more resources for that. Okay, everything is good. We've got some food. Everyone needs to eat. Let's see, nine. I fed them on day nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. So they need to eat today, but I don't think I have enough, right? <laughs> Yeah, I've only got two, so that's not good. Um, how's everybody else over here doing? Hunger? Everyone's okay. I'm going to try to go one more day, see if I can't get some more soup. Or not, because we're out of materials. Somebody's going to starve to death, and it's probably going to be Dee Dee. So, yeah. I guess we're going to only feed... We only get to feed two people here. We need to make a decision. Alert. I feel like April is probably... Mm -hmm. The most capable crew member we have on board. So we need to keep her healthy and fit. And then Emmett is, of course, our leader. So we're going to feed him, too. Hopefully that's not going to cause a rift in the friendship here. Okay, so we are out of food, which is not good. Um, let's see. We're approaching some sort of celestial body. It resembles a moon, but I think it's a small planet. Okay, so we're coming up on a planet. Hopefully that means we can go out and scavenge. I don't know. Scanning complete. I was right. A small rocky planet with no organic life forms. But there's a lot of movement down there. Strange. My scanners detect some structures as well as buildings or even cities. Alien planet, guys. <laughs> okay. Captain, if you want to land on this planet safely, you will have to fix up a small fix up a small malfunction with our steering system since we're not even able to turn at the moment. Oh, and you will have to do it before we float away from the planet. Okay, so the only option we have is to use our trusty handbook. Um, it hasn't failed us in the other game, so we're going to hope that it will come through for us today. And then we will go to day 15. Still no food here. Oh, look! Space colonization! Can we finally go exploring? Because I need supplies very badly. The other two are going to starve. Ro robot tofu? Goal achieved. Find an appropriate landing spot. Oh, cool! So we just cl completed our first objective. You flip through your trusty handbook looking for some kind of manual or at at least a how to land a spaceship for dummies chapter. Not sure if it was your fast reading skills or pure luck, but you opened the book on the right page. Following the instructions, you reconne reconnected some cables and steered the shuttle toward the ground. 
It was not a soft landing. Nobody is doing great after this stunt. I hope nobody got really hurt here. I do have a med kit, just in case, but... Uh, okay, I'm shaking my cores. Yes, all of them. Your face has a pretty unpleasant close encounter with our communicator module, and at least one of these things is useless now. Uh-oh. So... Does that mean our communic- It looks like our communicator is working, but this thing over here got broke. That must be what it's talking about. Consider fixing it if you want to avoid radio silence in the future. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, we've got some problems going on over here. Our battery is damaged. Oh, this is what it is talking about right here. <laughs> this is damaged right here. Our communications console. Our communicator is still um, intact, but the console is broken. So now that we're on a planet, can I please send someone out? Yes! Here we go. Okay. So yeah, we've got like a city going on over here. Interesting. A village? Or a tourist information. Interesting. Chance for battery, hazards, um, terrain or something? What do we get? what can we find in the village? Chance for these things. Hazards, toxic. Okay. So what do we need the most here? We need whatever it is to make some food. But it doesn't look like that was either of those. So what are we going to do here? Expedition system. We need batteries for that, looks like. All right, we're going to send somebody out over here to the tourist information because that will give us some energy here. So let's send somebody out there. Who do we want to send on the expedition? He's really strong, so let's send Bronco out. Um, yeah. We'll go with that. He's hungry too, so that'll be his motivation. Equipment. Yeah, let's send the armor with him. It protects clumsy astro citizens when they fall. And the mask, I'm wondering. Breathe fresh air where there is none. I'm assuming he's gonna need that. And we have to upgrade to unlock this. I think that's what that upgrade was I was looking at earlier. So we'll send him out with a mask and some armor. We want to keep him fighting fit here. Okay, the ultimate answer to life, the universe, and everything is soup. Baby left to gather some information about our surroundings from the tourism center. We'll hope he finds something more than dusty brochures and tacky souvenirs. Dee Dee is very hungry. She still considers us a friend. So hopefully, Baby can come through and pull through for us. Bring back some soup so we can get her fed. All right, Dee Dee is still starving, but she is hanging in there. Has been taking care of her mental health, and now she's alert. So she's doing good in spite of the fact that she is starving. That's all right, Dee Dee. We are going to make you some food for tomorrow right now. Let's get some of that crafting here. We are experiencing, mi experiencing minor technical difficulties with the communications console. We just fixed this thing. Come on. In other words, we are completely deaf and blind. I cannot pinpoint the origin of this malfunction, but I'm registering an intensifying tonal signal. Captain, it's a bomb. The countdown will be over soon. Do something. Um, There's a bomb, but we can't do anything about it. So, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. We don't have a gun or anything. Day 19. Oh my god, the bomb killed everyone! Look at us! Look at the skeletons! Oh man, the only survivor is Baby, because he was out in the world. Hopefully, he can, you know, colonize with the aliens or something, but man... They're all dead. Make a decision of what? Okay. Day 19. You died on duty. I did not see that coming. The cosmos can be a scary, dangerous place. Doing nothing about bombs exploding in cabins is of course a valid scenario. If you have a death wish. You clearly did. It was a pleasure working with you, Captain. Until today, that is. Rest in pieces. Oh my gosh. Everyone got killed in action, but what happened to our other crew member who went out into the world? They're both dead. That's it, I guess. You perished. Well, guys, that was 60 parsecs. At least we know Baby is out in the world surviving somewhere. Um, hopefully, Bronco can live with the aliens and survive. But for now, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, guys, stay crazy.